Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm looking at a free text-to-speech software called WordTalk. As I said, it's totally free and it will stall as a plugin into your add-ins into your Word 2013 and it enables you to read back, do spelling and even save as an audio file. This is great for people on a tight budget. So let's have a look. So first let's search for it, which is called WordTalk. Select your first link or go straight to download. Once you're in, it tells you where it's compatible and which office it's compatible with as well. You can also download the Microsoft.NET Framework version if required, but it should already be installed. All you do is fill in your operating system, so I'm running Windows 8 64-bit system and the country is England. Then complete the sum and click submit. And there we go. I can choose whether to run it or save it. So I'm going to click run at the bottom tells me how to install it, click next, follow all prompts select our agree and then click next I'll leave everything default and click next again follow prompts and let it now install WordTalk now this will install as a plugin, I'll go into Word 2013 in a minute and show you where it's actually installed into so if you want to disable it, you can do. Once it comes up, it has been successfully installed. Click close. And I can now close that website. I'm now going to open up a blank Word document. And at the ribbon, I'm going right to the top. I'm going to do an option where it says add-ins. Click that. And see on the left here? There's your Word Talk, all installed. Let me show you where it is in your add-ins in your Word. Click File. Go to the bottom, select Options. Go down to Add-ins. And there's all my add-ins in my list. And if I click on here, there's my Word Talk dot. If you need to disable it, go to the bottom here where it says Manage, Com, Add-ins. Select Go. And then you can untick what you don't want there. But as I want to use that, we're going to try it out and see how good it is. Let's have a quick look at the interface. The first option will be speak from cursor, which I'll show you in a minute. So wherever you put the cursor, you'll speak from. That will just speak a paragraph. That will just speak one sentence. And the next one will just speak one word. Your next option is speak selection. So if you highlight part of the text in a Word document, it will just read that part that you've selected. That will stop speaking. This is to configure Word Talk, so if I click on it, and you can see here, you can choose your voices here. You've got Hazel and a number of voices. I've not tried them all, so have a little play with them. Also, the speed, you can drag left to slow it down, right to speed it up, and of course, the volume. Go to Color tab. You can change the Color tab if you want, to how it reads back in color. What I'm going to do, I'm going to change that to blue. I'm going to try that and click Save Scene. Then you've got your keys, and these are your shortcut keys. Try and remember these. Using the Alt key and various numbers will save you time having to go up to the top of the ribbon and stop and play. After a while, we get used to them. So if I select keyboard shortcuts, you can then enable them if need be. Options, options, echo letters will echo every letter that you type in so you can hear it. Same goes for words. So you type in a word, it will then echo that word back for you with the voice. Again, with sentence. You can speak on double click in it or spell check on right click. So if I right click on the mouse you can do a spell check. But if I click OK and then click yes to save my settings. So I don't have to keep changing when I come back in. And click continue. Now if I come back up here we have configure. If you go to the next option, we can save any text as an audio file. I'll show you that in a minute as well. You can load settings that you've done before and you've got your spell check options. So, should we have a little go? See how good it is. So I'll just pop some text in there quick. Click the cursor getting what you want read back first, because I'm going to go right back up to the ribbon. Or you can use the shortcut keys that I showed you earlier. See what it says, speak from cursor? Click that Video once. Video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. When you click online video, 
you can paste in the embed code for the video and then you want to add. Go to the option unless you, you use a shortcut key and click stop speaking. As you can see it highlighted blue. Reason is remember if I click configure, go to colour, I'll select blue. I'm actually going to save settings for that so that stays default. I kind of like that. Click continue and it's done. So the first option is to speak from cursor. The next option is paragraph. Video provides a As you see, I click paragraph and just read back one paragraph. Point. When you click on line video, click stop. Same goes for when sentence. You, you see as it video, highlights from there in the embed from where it stopped. The video you want to add. And last word. Two. Next option speaks for selection. So if I highlight that paragraph and then select the option it will just speak what I've selected. Themes and styles also help keep your document coordinated. Coordinated. And again, click that to stop. The next option is save sound file. So if I highlight all that text and I come up and select the option here, save sound file. I can choose save it to WAV or save to MP3. I'll click save to MP3. Choose where you're going to save it to, my desktop. Give it a name and click save and that will save on your desktop as an audio file mp3 it's that easy to use next option is spell check so we'll just click off there and I'm going to create a few spelling errors quickly and try that out I'll click on a spelling and then click ABC prove. and there we go we've got the spelling so if I select prove which is the correct one before I can actually replace the spelling, I could choose find synonym. So show me all the synonyms for prove. I could do demonstrate and I could click replace synonym, not spelling. I could replace synonym. And there you go, demonstrate. Then go to the next spelling error, which is paste. Again, click the ABC. Paste. Select the one you want. And again, I can find a synonym or just replace spelling. And the spelling is done for me. So you can see in that toolbar, it's really handy. It reads back your text, you save it as an audio file, and you can do a quick spelling and synonym check.